Hi, I'm Darrell Castle. I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in the state of Tennessee. And on this video today, I'm talking about technology, new technology, and the liability for it. Where does liability lie in the products that bring us new technology? Specifically, I'm talking about a proposal that the Samsung Corporation has made to make trucks invisible. You know, that's just a term of art, invisible. But when you're following a large truck on the highway, it's very frustrating because you can't see around that truck. So this new proposal would put forward-looking TV cameras on the front of the truck and project it onto a screen in the back of the truck so that when you're behind one of these trucks, it would be like the truck wasn't there. You're looking forward, you can see what's coming. So if you swing out to pass the truck, you know whether there's going to be a car coming or not. So I have some serious questions about that. In theory, it sounds like a very good idea, but uh, who is liable if it doesn't work? I mean, can you rely on those cameras? Do you really want to, to swing out the pass without knowing for certain, without seeing it with your own eyes, whether there's another truck in the other lane coming head on at you? Those things concern me. Otherwise, I'm concerned about the, uh, the projection itself, this large TV image that might be mesmerizing to people driving along in a car, especially at night, you stop to watch it or something like that. It seems foolish, but that's the way it seems to me. It is a big liability issue. Who's liable for all these things? Samsung Corporation, the trucking company? Well, I'm sure that as this new technology comes along and that we embrace it, there will be flaws, there will be problems, there will be accidents, there will be injuries, some of them severe, some of them perhaps fatal. And when that happens, uh, a group of lawyers will try to prove to Samsung Corporation and the various trucking companies that they need to work the details out of this new technology before it is sold to the public folks. That's the way I see it anyway.